cover. There's now MacArthur try and work it back away to Orridge, and it'll go all the way back to Karmas, the keeper, where she will just slow down proceedings. Pushes it over towards Orridge. Nice little tap through, but Jackson with the intercept. Dribbus and Jackson going for the football. Now it comes back. Smart work here from Manly United. They move it along the back line to Davis. Nice little push through. Wada. Pryor just using her size pretty well there. Comes back along the line. Now an opportunity, Charolumpkis. Comes back to Dribbus. Now MacArthur pushing through. Pryor with Wada. And the Japanese import working her way beautifully. Back to Jackson. Now they control things. On that eastern touch line. Through Parker. Now Manly United just taking their time with options here. Davis now. Looks for some options with a long clearing kick. And now it comes away to the number two in Chola Kian, who's in open space. And there is your first goal of the afternoon. Claudia Chola Kian. A beautiful strike from her. At first, she didn't think it was play on. Once she realised, she put the afterburners on. And the mitre ball went in the back of the net. And your score is 1-0 here at Cromer Park. 34 gone. And that is the difference maker. Terrific strike of the football. You could see that coming in a number of plays. It was either Franco or Chola Kian that was up front. And it's 1-0 here for the home side. Now MacArthur try to respond. Rain's starting to dissipate just a little bit, which might improve things. A lot of surface water, though, on this synthetic surface. As Manly United come back to basics as Rollison just charges through. In fact, that was Pry that's just come through. So the ball has gone out of bounds. So Chola Kian, the difference maker here at Cromer Park. Scored one last week against Bankstown City. So her second goal of the year. Now to Pryor. Away it goes to the 16 there for MacArthur and Gaelic. Now Charolumpkis pushes it through and a nice little tap through. Manly United pushes it dead. O'Brien. Just a little bit slow to her feet. So 35 minutes gone in this first half. 1-0 is your scoreline through Claudia Cholakian. Bit of individual brilliance from her as Cameron taps it into the area. Karmas, who's looked dangerous in this first half for MacArthur, tries to get the ball, but it'll come to Manly United. And O'Brien will tap back through Simonson. Simonson pushes it through. Cholakian again with Rollison. Play on is the call. Rollison, just a little push there. Comes back to Franco. Referee has awarded the ball to MacArthur. So now Cameron will have possession, who's been solid at the back for them. Pushes through. Chance here now, Copas Brown on the charge for Manly United, straight up the middle. This is great work from her. Copas Brown... Stubby little kick comes back. Joel Lumpkus tapped through. Jackson tried to get the pivot and spin going. Did it well. Got the ball back to Davis. Thought Davis was going to go for that clearing strike up the middle. Holds it back. Gives it to Perrick. Now back to Davis. Away to Wada. Pushing it nicely. Davis controlling things well here for Manly United. Goes back to Simonson to just 
clear things up. So a nice clearing kick there from Perrick. And now Wada in some open space. But Karmas will kick it into touch. It's gone into full. So MacArthur under some pressure here after that Chola Kian goal. Ball downfield. Nicely tapped away off the chest by Cameron. Goes out of bounds. So about eight minutes, seven or eight minutes before the half. It's been a really tight and tough contest so far. First goal coming a couple of minutes ago through Claudia Cholakian. Now O'Brien with a clearing kick. Another header. Cholakian tapped it through. That one has gone well over the posts. So now Karmas with a nice clearing kick back into the field. Franco now with the football on this right side. Swings it back in field towards the area. Wada, nice control of the mitre football. O'Brien with a strike. And Karmas with the save. Jeez, that would have been almost goal of the week contender if that had gone in the back of the net. O'Brien gave it everything. So now it is pushed through MacArthur. Back to Karmas. Karmas to Cameron. And the ball goes out of bounds. Inbound Le Manly United. Of course, they're coming off a 6-1 victory over Bankstown City. Six individual scorers, which is good to see in terms of the depth that this side has. And Shola Kian, the only with the double at the moment after getting the earlier one in the 32nd minute. Great effort and a great strike from her. O'Brien now gets us back in the contest with this throw-in. Wada. Shola Lunkus. Now to Rollison. She'll just tap it calmly back to Karmas. Comes midfield. O'Brien watches the ball. Goes to Perrick. Perrick pushes it downfield. Rollison will take care of it. It'll go out of bounds. So now Karmas to feed it inbound. Good strike of the ball. Nice little tap there from Wada. Now Wada to play it out the outside the area at the moment. Quick tap in. Franco with the football. MacArthur strong with the defence. Comes back to Wada. Just playing it outside the area. Cameron is working it nicely and will put it out of touch. So 41 minutes gone in this first half. 1-0 in favour of Manly United. Cholakian, the first scorer. Now it comes to O'Brien. O'Brien with some limited space. Back in field. Away now Manly United have a beautiful strike and a great save there from Karmas. It was a nice pivot and spin from Briani Parker. But the save is on. The rain really picking up. Chalumkas now. Chalakian tries to get the ball back into Wada. Wada through Franco. It was caught off guard but handled it well. Comes back to Rollison. Now a nice clearing kick from Karmas. But that will go in touch over on the eastern side. Just in front of the clubhouse. Great to have the support of TAFE New South Wales, Ultra Football, Puma, and of course the Mitre Football that we're using here this afternoon. All wonderful to have them a part of the football family that makes up the women's MPL competition. Now it's tapped from Manly United. 
Nice clearing kick and Franco. So the crowd aren't quite happy with that uh, decision. But play on is the call. So Gallic gives the ball back inside. Now Chalakian pushes it through to Sunny Franco. She's in some space outside the area with a shot. Misses Karmas but misses the posts. And fast approaching the half-time whistle. 43 minutes gone. 1-0 the score. Chalakian, the first point scorer this afternoon. Her second goal of the season after scoring one against Bankstown City last week in their 6-1 victory. And of course, MacArthur, they were coming off their hard-fought win over the emerging Jets. 1-0 was the result there. 63rd-minute goal. It was a nice clearing kick and a small little touch from Pryor to break the deadlock there against the Jets. And now Cholakian with another chance. But Karmas is on it this time. And she will bring it back. Throw towards the eastern touchline. Comes back along the line for MacArthur through Murtag. Now goes away to the 11 in Charolumkis. Comes back towards the Western touchline. Chance for MacArthur through Cameron. Cameron has options. Karmas is calling for the ball. Comes back to Manly United. Smart little deft touch there from the home side. Nice clearance there from O'Brien. Comes away. Now O'Brien down the Western touchline. Had Franco... Set it up nicely for her. Back into Cholakian. Away to Perrick. Now to Davis. Over on the far side. Winkler. Quick little touch. Ball back inside. They try and move it through Wada. But uh, 16 in Gallic. We'll just try and stop that. It comes back away to Franco. Franco taps it back. Now they go through Davis up the middle. Davis with a high launch. Karmas with the tap. Well controlled in these heavy rain conditions. Didn't panic on her line. And kept it out of the back of the net. As it'll come back to Rollison. And Rollison will find Cameron. And they've been a great combination in this game for MacArthur. 1 0 your scoreline. Approaching. The half-time break. Ball goes out of bounds. So now Simonson will just uh, allow play to continue here. She says, tap it away. And now Perrick who scored a goal last week. We'll tap it back to Simonson. Not quite sure she was ready for that, but anyway, she's handled it pretty well. O'Brien, nice little tap, and that whistle indicates half-time here at Cromer Park. A terrific effort from both sides, but it was the 32nd minute, Claudia Chola-Kane, and uh, just picking up the difference maker. And so your scoreline at half time here at Cromer Park is Manly United 1, MacArthur Rams FC 0. We'll take a break and be back with all the action of the second half.
So welcome back to Cromer Park for all the action of this round two contest in the women's NPL between Manly United FC and the MacArthur Rams. If you've just joined us, the first goal was scored by Claudia Cholakian in the 32nd minute. It's her second goal of the year. It was a great individual effort. It's broken the deadlock here at Cromer Park, but MacArthur have proved in that first 45 that they are pretty solid with the football and have put pressure on Manly a number of times. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this final half here at Cromer Park. The rain has dropped off just a little bit, sort of dropped off during the halftime break, but it was quite heavy in that first half. So that'll be interesting to see how the weather plays a part in this second 45. John O'Farr is my name, your match day commentator. Hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you may be. Now it works it to MacArthur through Dribbus. And the ball will go on the Western touchline. Good inbound pass. And now MacArthur move it up. Drivis just tries to work it. Manly United with limited real estate through the Japanese import in Wada. Now Rollison gives it back to Dribbus. Pushes it through the middle. Nicely to Orridge. And now a chance for Charolumpkis. Controlled things nicely in that first half. Chance here now for MacArthur just outside the area, but Perrick is covering well. And Simonson at the back cleans it up nicely. Great size crowd despite the weather and what's going on in Sydney at the moment. Real community and family feel here at Cromer Park, home of the Manly United Football Club. They're coming off a 6-1 victory last week against Bankstown City. And now Karmas pushes it to Dribbus. Of course, MacArthur, a hard-fought win as Franco takes it forward. A nice strike from her, but well picked up on the half volley by Karmas. Tough here on the synthetic surface. A lot of water just stays on the surface, so it can skid a lot the mitre ball. As now it comes back to Winkler. I'll push it along. Parker just watches the ball go to Jackson. And now Winkler will tap it back. There's now Simonson under some pressure. Comes back to Pryor with a launch. Simonson reads the ball well and cleans it up at the back. Of course, MacArthur, I mentioned earlier, coming off the 1-0 win. It was a 63rd-minute goal from Pryor that broke the deadlock there against the emerging Jets. And now Manly United... Looking for their second win of the contest is Wada. Now it comes back beautifully to the 12 in Parker. And now Franco with a shot. But Karmas is on the job once again. A nice control dive as Drubis now has the ball down the Western touchline. Smart work from Manly United, but it's good work there from MacArthur FC to try and clear the ball. Parker just claiming something there. Ball will come back for the Rams. In fact, it'll go towards Manly United. So Parker now with the inbound throw. Nice tap back. Franco comes back to Dribbus, who gives it to Karmas. Shamira Karmas, the keeper who's done a superb job this afternoon. Just let one of the goals in, but it was a tough work there from Cholakian, who put boots a ball incredibly hard. As now Parker tries to defend the ball. Just in front of the broadcast position it goes. Jackson wasn't too happy with the call. And now Dribbus with the inbound throw. Rollison, nice little flip up from her. Pryor tries to get the ball. Now it comes back to Parker. Parker runs out of room on the Western touchline. Nice inbound throw. Rollison couldn't quite control it, but MacArthur do at the back. Comes back away to Parker. Now it goes away to Winkler. Now Winkler will slot it back to Simonson. It's under a bit of pressure. Karmas was giving her some trouble. And the ball goes out of bounds just towards the main broadcast position. 
Hope you're enjoying the contest wherever you may find yourself on this Sunday afternoon. Hope you're staying out of the weather. Great to have the support of TAFE New South Wales, Ultra Football, Puma, and of course the Mitre Football involved in the football family as sponsors as now Davis works it for Manly United towards the clubhouse. Smart work from O'Brien, who was great in the first half. Pushes it forward. Franco and Cholaki and watch it. Tap forward. Now it's a chance for Parker. In fact, it's Wada. Wada just outside the area. Looks for options. Now finds Parker. Slots it towards the area. Comes back. Nice clearance there. Murtag pushes it through midfield. And a chance now here for MacArthur. Great work. Karmas, Lena Karmas, who's been strong for them. Now back to Pryor. Smart little tap through. Davis just goes over her shoulders. Chance goes begging for the Rams there. But great defence from Manley. And a nice sliding effort there from Pryor. Puts it into touch. Plenty of uh, noise emanating from Cromer Park. All the players just calling the shots, working out set plays as Parker inbounds it. And the penalty is there as Franco was held back. So it'll come to Wada for the free kick. Played well so far. Naya Kawada. Good clearing kick towards Rollison, who just heads it forward. Tapped back. And now Manly United just push it through Wada. Down the western touchline. A chance here now for them. Clearing kick. Can't quite find Cholaki. And again, Karmas will let the ball go into touch. So it'll be a goal kick for her. Manly United in the, the blue and the white socks and MacArthur in the white tops and maroon socks. MacArthur defending the left side of your screen or the high school end of the ground as Dribbus now works it. And Manly United, of course, defending the lagoon side as now Rollison will slot it forward. Tap forward. Simonson punched it forward, took herself forward there. Nice work back from Winkler to try and control it. Rain seems to have disappeared at the moment, which is good. It's proving to be quite the nice afternoon here at Cromer Park as the attack there. And now it comes to Karmas. Lena Karmas on the charge. And that will miss the goals well to the left. She's been persistent when she's got that mitre football at her feet. And Lena Karmas has really been calling for that football a lot of the times. Very Sam Kerr-like up front. As now Nicole Simonson now has this football to clear from the goal area. Good clearance kick. Orich now goes to Parker. Parker to tap through. Winkler back to Parker. Can't quite get it. Goes out of bounds. Still 1-0. Cholaki in the difference. 54 gone in this contest. Now it comes back to Karmas. Away to Orridge. Pushes it through. Tap through was a smart one from Davis. And now Copas Brown gives the ball across field. O'Brien pushes it forward. This is nice work. As Franco just watches the ball go over and out of bounds on the eastern touchline. So MacArthur to set themselves up. Wada now with the football. Gives it back to Copas Brown. Copas Brown up the middle. This is where Manly United are dangerous. It was a clearing kick that put Cholaki in for the first as O'Brien now. Short little tap to Wada. Wada pushes it to Copas Brown. Copas Brown with some good footwork. 
But it's nice work from Charolumkis for MacArthur. It pushes it in favour of them. And now Pryor has the ball for MacArthur. Scored a goal last week. Nicely worked to Murtag. Murtag into the area. Tap there from Perrick to Simonson. Simonson, the goalkeeper, will clear it. Smart little tap over the top there. O'Brien has worked hard in this game and contest. Chara Lumkus now on her tail as Cholaki and now with the football. Brings it towards the area. Comes back to Parker. Parker to tap through. Chance for Wada. Wada up the middle. Good footwork from the Japanese import. The left and the right strike in the clear, but Dribus will clear it. That was an impressive start there from Nyoka. Couldn't quite get the contest, though. But some smart footwork from here initially. Substitution for Manly. Coming on, Kylie Johnson and Holly Lobs Sonny Franco. So the 29 now for Manly United. In Carly Johnson comes on. And Sonny Franco makes her way to the bench. Solid effort from Sonny Franco this afternoon for Manly United. There's the first substitution of the afternoon. About 56 minutes gone in this contest. 1-0 in favour of the home side, Manly United. And now Pryor launching forward up midfield. Nice tap through, but the numbers are strong there for Manly United. And now Wada has another bite at the cherry. Tries to get the ball away to the new player in Johnson, her first touch. Back to Wada, limited real estate. real estate, now to Johnson. Carly Johnson, first touch, clearing kick. Back to Cameron, Cameron to clear it. Didn't panic when she got the minor football at the feet. And the ball will go into touch. So both sides coming off victories last week in the opening round of the women's NPL. At the moment, Manly United, the home side, they lead it 1-0. Comes to Wada. Pushes forward to Jackson. Jackson. Over towards the eastern touchline. It'll be O'Brien. O'Brien working nicely. Through the middle. Terrell Lumpkis, her opposite 11, will push it into touch. Now the inbound throw is a good one to Jackson all alone. Bit of pressure there from Pryor. Chorolumkis to clear it down the touchline. Over the opposition territory. Perrick. Nice little pivot and spin to try and defend it. Orridge tries to get it. Now Karmas pushes it through. And a strike there. Through Parker. For Manly United. And the impacted player there was the 12 in Laura Murtag. So it'll be a free kick here for MacArthur. So now, Chorolumpkis having a bit of a board meeting there. I think it's with Pryor. It is. So they're just having a discussion. You saw it earlier in the first half with Chorolumpkis and Rollison. And now Pryor just giving her thoughts about this. The wall is there for Manly United. Chorolumpkis punts over the top. Looks for an opportunity and a brilliant save from Simonson. Almost there from points, but she read it superbly. And it pushes it down towards the halfway. Now O'Brien for Manly United. She's been deadly. Chalakian again in space inside the area. Chalakian can't make it too. A couple of feet above the main post. But that was a similar play to the 32nd minute goal for her. And Claudia Chalakian proves once again that she's dangerous in space. As Dribus. Gives it away now to Murtag. Comes back to Jackson. Now works it back inside. Johnson, Carly Johnson, who's been impressive with her limited time on the field. And Karmas reads it well. Puts a nice kick down towards the halfway line. 
Manly United through Jackson under some pressure. Now Karmas, Lena Karmas works the ball completely. Gives the ball away. Chance here for MacArthur. Goes back to Manly United. O'Brien back to Simonson. Simonson gives it to Davis. Davis works it nicely. Away to Parker, who couldn't quite get it. Bit of pressure there from MacArthur. Now the chance exists for Johnson. Clearing kick couldn't find Copus Brown. But it's nodded back to Jackson, who will just put a kick through. Couldn't quite find her teammate. And it'll be Karmas again that clears it from the area. So the hour mark has approached. Still 1-0 in favour of Manly United. It was about the 63rd minute last week that MacArthur broke their deadlock in their clash against the emerging Jets. So it'll be interesting to see if something happens here in the next couple of minutes for the Rams. As Johnson gives the ball back inside nicely to Jackson. And they tap it towards that eastern touchline through O'Brien. O'Brien plays at it. Comes back. Gives it to Jackson. Jackson just holds fire for a moment. They work it through Perrick. Away at Chalaki and looks like she's been struck there. Might have been able to hear the screams there. Claudia Chalakian. Let's hope everything's okay with her. Referee just calling for the medical staff to come and have a look. Seemed to get a shot from the back there. Still down at the moment, Cholakian. You can see the medical staff just taking a look at that. Looks like the ankle injury looking through the glasses. But she's up on two feet, which is good to see. So let's hope everything's okay there. And it looks as though she's going to play on. So a brave effort there from Claudia Chalakian. But good to see, certainly. In fact, no, she's uh, coming from the field. So I thought, them, thought initially she was going to play on, but she's coming from the field there. So let's hope everything's okay with Claudia. And so Manly United will have first possession. Into the area it goes. Over the top, Karmas will clear it. Under some pressure, charges to the area. So Charolumkis comes back. Nice tap over the top. Karmas. Pushing her way through. Good control of the mitre football outside the area. Now to Pryor. Pryor with the strike. Ricochets off the Manly United defence. Comes back to Dribbus. Works it to Pryor. Outside the area. Now to Dribbus. Good cross kick. Tapped away by Manly United. Comes back to Pryor. Tries to dominate Wada on that occasion. Now to Parker. Tries to stop the progression. Comes back for MacArthur. Clearing kick there is a good one from Manly United. Comes back to Dribbus. And MacArthur control the football. Now it comes back to the 16 in Gaelic. Gaelic to give it back to Karmas. And Shamira Karmas will push it forward towards the halfway. Nice header there. Pushes back. Rawlison now gives it back to Johnson. Johnson now for Manly United through the middle. Chance here now on the right edge through O'Brien. O'Brien just outside the area. And that'll go well over the top. So the ball to be retrieved. Manly United, they're creating some opportunities on that right edge. And O'Brien controlling that football exceptionally well. TAFE New South Wales, Ultra Football, Puma, and of course Mitre, the sponsors. We thank them for their support in season 2020. 
So a corner to be taken here for Manly United. It's wired up with possession. Can they make it 2-0? In it comes. Up it goes. Back to O'Brien. Now Copas Brown. Punched forward. Takes it to Wada. Nice clearing shot into the penalty box. And Karmas rises above everything and clears the ball beautifully. Now Dribbis pushes it through. Orridge. Now back to Dribbis. On to Orridge. And it's... Looks like it's come off Manly United. So Cholakian is back on the field here, which is quite brave from her. I thought initially she was coming from the field, but so it looks like the 14 is now on for Manly United in Nicole Stewart. And the six... And Ruby Jackson makes her way to the bench. So it looks as though Cholakian has come back onto the field after a short little stint. Coming off Ruby Jackson, coming on now it goes down towards the corner and Murtagh punches it forward. So it'll come back for a goal kick for them to clear it through Simonson who's done particularly well in goals this afternoon for her side. She will push it forward. Nice little tap away to Parker. And now Copas Brown. Little push forward. Copas Brown gives it. Now there's some space here for Cholakian. Down this left edge outside the area. Cholakian still with the ball. Looking dangerous. Slots it there. Tries to put the... Might have ball through that narrow gap, but Karmas reads it. And Cholakian has gone down again. Just clutching at that left ankle. I mentioned a couple of moments ago that she was brave to come back on the field after that earlier shot. And she seems to be in an incredible amount of pain at the moment. So let's hope everything's okay with her. Took a tumble as she tried to slot the ball outside the area just on the left edge. And the game comes to a bit of a halt at the moment. 67 minutes gone. 1-0 your scoreline at the moment. Both sides coming off victories. Looks like a bit of magic spray just applied to the ankle there. Manly were dominant in their 6-1 victory over Bankstown City. MacArthur had to work a little harder for their win over the emerging Jets. It was a 63-minute header from prior. That broke the deadlock there and they won 1-0. So Cholakian now slowly to her feet. This will be interesting to see what happens here. Looks like she's coming from the field. So let's hope everything's okay with Claudia Cholakian. Two big strikes on those ankles. She's coming from the field. So now play continues as Cameron takes it down. The edge and a push there from Manly United. So that will result in a free kick here for MacArthur. Gaelic will just quickly tap it, I think. Oh, no, I thought she was going to go short to Cameron there. Gaelic will go long towards the area. Punch back. Now it's cleared well by Manly United. So it's gone back down towards Gaelic, but it'll be Karmas that clears it at the back for the Rams. Sixty nine minutes gone here at Kramer Park. One nil your scoreline. Manly with a thirty two minute goal to Cholakian, who's just left the field. Let's hope everything's okay with her. Now it comes back to Murtag. 
Good chat between the girls of MacArthur. Comes back to Parker. Now away to Johnson, who's been dangerous since she's been on the paddock this half. Johnson with a shot and a brilliant save there from Karmas. And a second shot there was Manly United. But it was a brilliant effort there from Karmas. A wonderful save. But hasn't uh, Carly Johnson been dangerous for Manly United coming onto the field in this second half? She was a substitution. And now Parker has this throw in from just in front of her own bench. 70 minutes gone. 1 0 your scoreline here at Cromer Park. Now it comes to Winkler onto Parker. Good work from Murtag to try and get the mitre ball out of possession. Nice clearance there. Comes back away. Orridge with the football. Now it goes to Manly United over on that far side. Copus Brown just on the area. Works it in that corner. Just a quick little tap in. Karmas will put the body on the line in front of Johnson. She's had a pretty impressive second half here, Karmas. Nice little slot downfield. Ball comes back. Now Cameron to take it. Johnson with the attack with the football. Cameron under some pressure. A three-on-one attack. Now it's tap back, wider with possession. So the crowd aren't happy with that particular result on that occasion. So now Winkler will bring it back to the impacted spot. Manly United with the free kick, looking to build on their 1-0 lead. If they hold on for the next 15, 20 minutes, it'll be their second win of the season. But they've had to work a lot harder for this one. There's Wada into the area and Karmas lets it go. Watches it go over the touchline. MacArthur looking for their first goal of the match and just to put a bit of pressure here on Manly United as Cameron will push it forward, but it's ricocheted off Manly, so it'll stay with the Rams. Nice effort to Karmas. Back to Cameron. Goes back to Manly United. O'Brien, who's been strong this afternoon. Wada with a good clearance. Now a chance for Johnson outside the area on that right edge. Johnson with the shot. Can't quite have a strong finish, unfortunately. Referee spotted something. Karmas is appealing to the referee. They're having a conversation. And it'll be a corner. So Naoka Wada will take the strike from the corner. Had one earlier today from that similar position. Let's see what she can do with this effort. Ball into the area. Over the top. Oh, drivers, it's through. It's a goal. I think Cholakian was the last to touch it. Dribbers tried her best. But there are the points, I think, at the moment. The referees will just check. And no, it's no goal. So Cholucky and had a touch on it. Dribbus tried to touch in it. It is a goal. So there we go. A little bit of confusion here at Cromer Park between the referee and some of the players. So Cholucky has got the second goal of the day. Her first half effort. And she's got a second one. So what a brave effort from Claudia Cholucky Dribbus tried to save it in the final stages, but the ball has gone through. And now Wada takes it for Manly. 
Pushes it through to O'Brien. Johnson tries to get it, but Rollison just pushes it forward. Murtag with the header. Clearance is a good one from Davis. Tap through. Cholakian now. Goes to Copas Brown. Comes back. Nice work from Manly United. Cholakian tried to get the clearing kick. Rollison tried to get it. Johnson with the ball. Nice attack there from the Rams. Good footwork. Pushes it downfield. And Gaelic had some nice footwork there, but the ball's gone into touch. So the second goal is to Claudia Cholakian. It was a, uh, a very interesting situation post-goal. At first look, it looked as though it went straight through, but the referees had to check with their linesmen. And once that was cleared, the goal was scored. It confused everybody, including the ground announcer here at the ground. So Cholakian, the second scorer. So it's 2-0 now in favour of Manly United. As Choralumkis pushes it forward for MacArthur. She's been strong this afternoon. Pryor, nice little tap. Choralumkis pushes it through. Now Pryor taps through. Good clearing kick there from Manly United. Looks like there's going to be a change here for Manly United. So the 22 in Arnold is now on the pitch. Substitution for Manly coming off Ronnie Parker. So Parker's off the field. Arnold is on now. I think that's the second or third change for Manly in this game. As Dribbus pushes it through from the throw in. Now it's packed away. So Lackian now to Arnold. Smart footwork from her. Tap over the top. Nice work from Cholakian onto Arnold. Cholakian tries to clear it, but limited real estate prevents any further possession. Arnold with a nice throw in. Now Johnson, who's looked dangerous in this second half, has it. Inside the area with the clearing. Kick! Oh! That is superb! Carly Johnson with the third goal. A masterpiece. Who knew a mitre ball could bend like that? 3-0, Manly United here at Cromer Park. On for the second half. It was a substitution made by the coaching staff a couple of minutes into the half, and it has proved dividends for Manly United. And Carly Johnson, a superb strike, and it pushes it to 3-0 in favour of the home side. Now Murtag from MacArthur. Away to Davis. Strike there on Karmas on Arnold. Arnold's pleading for the referee. Karmas plays on. Pryor goes to Winkler. Now Wada has a clearing attempt. Pushes it back. Now it goes to the keeper in Karmas. Back to Wada, on to Arnold, who's had great effect in her short time on the pitch. Pryor, back to Rollison, now to Dribbis. Dribbis, kick over the top. Murtag pushes her way through. Smart work here from Copas Brown, who's been strong for Manly United, through the middle. And now it goes over on that far side. Back to... Oh, attempted to Cholakian, but just reaches Karmas. So your score line is 3-0, and it's 79 minutes gone. Carly Johnson with an absolute cracker. Now to Arnold. Beats Cholakian. On to Cameron, though, for MacArthur. She's been strong at the back for the Rams. Nice work through the middle here. Good tap through. Now to Johnson. So there's a substitution here for MacArthur. Looks like it's the 14 in Henley that comes on. And it'll be Rollison that makes her way off the pitch.
So now Karmas to clear the football for MacArthur. Tap from O'Brien. Forward now goes Wada. Chance here from Co oh, now to Copus Brown outside the area. Copus Brown tried to tap through, had an opportunity. And it's come off MacArthur for an own goal. Well, the opportunities still keep coming for Manly United. And there's the fourth goal for Manly. So a brilliant effort from Manly United, but it ricocheted, unfortunately, off MacArthur. And it goes through for the goal. So 4-0 your scoreline goes to MacArthur now at the back. Tap through is Dribbus. Dribbus now on the attack. Away to Karmas. Nice defence there from Manly United. Puts it to Cholakian. Cholumkas. Now still nice little tap through. Couldn't be quite taken. Copus Brown with some good defensive work. Stewart there. Had the last effort there. Goes away to Johnson. Johnson. Now to Copus Brown. Pushes it forward. Can't be taken. Drivers takes it forward. O'Brien now has the possession. Punches it back. Now back to Davis, who's been good at the back for Manly. Now to Wada. Nice tap through. Opportunity here for Manly. Arnold can't quite get to it, and Karmas will take it. So Nicole Stewart has been awarded that last goal. Even though it was an own goal. And the ball has gone out of bounds. Arnold to inbound with the throw. Short one. Goes away to Wada. And a tap through. Referee spots a little trip. 4-0 your scoreline. 82 gone. Beautiful sunshine here at Cromer Park. We started in sunshine. Looks like we're going to finish with it. As Gaelic now will have it. Just past the halfway line. Punchy ball to Dribbus. Dribbus over the top. Now to Stewart. Punched away. Johnson and Stewart combining beautifully here. Johnson punching forward. Cameron tried to get it. Stewart on the burst. Gaelic now tries to come at MacArthur. Cholakian can't make it. Three for the game. Great defence from Karmas at the back. Now it goes to MacArthur. On to Murtag. Punches her way through. Arnold can't quite get it. Now it goes to Pryor. Scored a goal last week. On the right edge. Pryor taps it forward. Good defence at the back there from Davis. Pushes it away. Wada now with control of the football. To the halfway line is Arnold. Ball will go out of bounds just in front of our broadcast position. 4-0 your scoreline. 83 and a half gone in this contest. Great to have TAFE New South Wales, Ultra Football, Puma and Mitre as sponsors for the women's NPL. Johnson now onto Wada. Wada on the right edge. Looking for goal number five here this afternoon. Johnson works it back. Needs some support here. Tap across, bent it beautifully in her first attempt, but it can't do the same on that occasion. And it stays wide of the posts. So it would appear that Manly will continue their winning streak unless an absolute miracle occurs in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. 4-0 is your scoreline at the moment. They had a 6-1 result over Bankstown City last week. And they've made a change. Catherine Stanbridge now onto the pitch in 37. And, of course, MacArthur will go to 1-1. One one. So Manly United will stay atop of the goal difference tally and atop of the ladder as... 
Chara Lumpkis pushes forward. Stanbridge with her first touch. Now MacArthur pushes it through Dribus. Nice little attempt there. Now Murtag on the charge from the Rams. Karmas couldn't quite get it. Davis can. Nice little tap from Copus Brown away to Stanbridge. And it'll come back to the middle of the pitch. 85 and a half gone here at Cromer Park. John O'Farr is my name, your match day commentator. It's been great to have your company right across the period of this afternoon's match. And for all the commentators right across the 2020 NPL season. It's now Copus Brown takes it forward. Hope you're enjoying the action wherever you may be watching it. On your laptop, your device, your phone, wherever you may be. Wonderful to have your company. As Cameron now for MacArthur. We'll tap it to that midfield. Copus Brown now gives it away to Stewart. Good work here to Johnson on that right edge. Has Stewart in support. Johnson looks for something. Tries to give it back, but Cameron just punches it away for MacArthur. Stewart now on the take. Just pushes it back to O'Brien. And it looks like there's a call there from the linesman. So it'll be a goal kick for Karmas, who's had a couple of good saves and just had a bit of bad luck along the way. Nicole Simonson at the other end, however, has kept the clean sheet. One nil was the scoreline at half time. It's been three goals for Manly United that's been the difference maker in this contest. Chara Lumpkis now onto Pryor. Pryor pushes it forward. Now onto Karmas. Back they go. Arnold now to Wada. Wada has time, finds Arnold. Arnold pushes it back through the line. Beautiful work to O'Brien, who's been strong today. Good clearing kick, and away they go through Stewart, looking for goal number two here. Stewart right on the edge, taps it through. Stanbridge can't quite get to it, and Karmas, the keeper, does. Nice work from Manly United, though, but well covered up by MacArthur as they take it forward, and Diaka Georges with a touch. Now it comes to Dribus. Punches it back to Diaka Georges. Nice work to Pryor. Just off the chest. Taps it away. Charolumkus. Down goes O'Brien. Referee wants the ball in the back spot. Just outside the circle. So Wada with the punchy kick away to Stewart. And that'll just go down to Karmas at the back, who takes it. Punchy ball to Dribbus. Dribbus has good on, been good on that uh, right edge. Now it goes to Murtag. Murtag with a little tap through. Now to Dribbus. Good tap over the top. MacArthur now with a possible chance. Karmas and a defensive flick there by Perrick puts it into touch. So it'll be a corner here for MacArthur. Chara Lumpkis to take it. I haven't seen a great deal of action down this end of the field in this second half, but here's a chance for MacArthur to put one on the board. Try and narrow the gap. Charolumpkis with a nice clearing corner. Punchy tap away. Charolumpkis controls it beautifully. Just inside the area.
So approaching the injury time stage of the game. 90 minutes has come up on the clock here at Cromer Park. So we are into injury time. Simonson will push it forward. Wada. Now pushes it away to Stewart. Stewart on the eastern touchline. Beautifully to Johnson. But has she got the pace for the minor ball? And it's touched away there by the 14 in uh, Henley. And that will go into touch. So that will be a uh, corner for Manly United. I've seen a goal from this position here. It was the second goal of the afternoon. First goal of the second half. As Wada now. It's been good from that spot. Nice clearing corner over the top. Winkler can't quite get onto it. And that whistle in the background signifies full-time here at Cromer Park. It's been a dominant performance once again by Manly United. The goal scorers, two to Claudia Cholakian, two to her. Nicole Stewart scored one in the second half, and Carly Johnson. Have a look back on the replay of this game. It is an absolute cracker midway through the second half. A terrific goal. So four goals to Manly United. MacArthur yet to score here this afternoon. Next week, Manly United play Arpia Leica. That's at Lambert Park at 5.30 next Sunday afternoon. And, of course, for MacArthur, their next clash is the Northern Tigers next weekend. Sunday, Linwood Park from 4 p.m. We hope we can have you company for the coverage of those contests. Thanks so much for watching this afternoon. We hope you enjoyed enjoyed this contest. Final score, Manly United FC 4, MacArthur Rams nil. My name's John O'Farr on behalf of Oscar Gomez. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week for more action in the women's NPL. Bye for now.